Now we're going to assemble the B6 block. B6 is a modified block for the EPP kit. So there's go we're going to go to the chart in the booklet. And in, in here, they've taken out this border here. And they've also simplified these corners after they made the block bigger. So instead of having these here, this whole thing has become one unit. So the assembly here, if you look through here, we've got this center section. This is like the center square, okay? This is going to be a unit. We're going to take these two triangles around this diagonal bar and we're going to make this into a square. And then we'll attach these two with this and then make this one attach these all together with this center bar. And then we'll be able to work around. I'm going to do these and then I'm going to add the triangles and then I'm going to add these and then the triangles and that'll finish up the block. So I've got my pieces here and we're on a yellow, we're on a yellow block. So I've got my basting. My basting is going to be for these. I'm going to start with basting with these and I'm going to baste the points first to make them be as sharp as possible. Then I'm going to baste these and I want to look at my triangles here. So when I base these triangles, if I base them with the tags going out, they're going to go into this, which is what I want. So I'm going to base them with the tags going out, which means I'm going to do the legs, the legs of the triangle first, and then the hypotenuse, so then the tags go away. I'm going to do that on all these little triangles, and I will, uh, and then these I'm going to do short side first, then the long sides. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to base these three pieces each of each square so I can make these into squares and assemble those and get going on this center section. So I basted all of these pieces so now I'm going to go around and stick them together into squares. I've got my squares made and I'll make sure I keep them in the right configuration because they're going to be a diamond around the center. The next thing to do is to baste these small bars so that I can attach these in pairs. So I've assembled these sections here and I want to make sure that my diamond is facing towards the middle. I've mixed these up before and actually it makes kind of a fun pattern. It just makes it to a like an X shape in the center. So if you want to intentionally do that, that's kind of a fun thing. But I'm going to try to make sure I leave it the way it's supposed to be. I'm going to base this and put these together into one piece. So I've attached this to the center bar. So this is my center square. The next thing is to baste and attach these. I'm going to baste these opposite ones and attach those and then these. It's just a habit I have. So I'm going to go ahead and do that layer. So I've got my next row of black on. As I'm attaching these, I'm making sure that I start with this edge lined up and then I stitch to about here and then I'll realign it on this other edge and work my way back in. That'll work this in because there's some growth that happens in that situation. So next thing to do is I've attached this here. So now I'm going to attach these triangles to those borders I just attached. So I will baste and get those on. When I go to attach these triangles, I wanted to point out something I haven't explained before. This is not a 90 degree angle, you know that. Um, but what happens is when you baste fabric around it, it doesn't always hit the paper exactly where the corner is. So that means that's not necessarily the edge. So then when you go to attach the next piece, it's not exactly even. So what I do, is I center this piece on the triangle so that there's a little bit of overhang on each side if it's off and then when I stitch it I will pick it up at the corner of the triangle and then that will pull this fabric there and it will take care of that issue but if you think that it's the wrong size triangle it's just because of the way that the fabric is going around these angles on the edge and you can go ahead and compensate by placement and stitching of these points. 
So I've attached my yellow triangles as the next layer. Now we're gonna go to the next round of black. I will base and attach those next. So I've attached the last black sections on the sides. And the next thing to do is to attach the large triangles to the corners. So I've attached the outer triangles and my B6 block has now been completed.